Hi friends, welcome to Learning French with Bina Multani. In this video, we are going to continue learning the other accents in French. In the earlier video, we had seen the acute accent and we had seen the brow accent. Salut mes amis et bienvenue à apprendre la langue française avec Bina Multani. Dans ce video, on va continuer à apprendre les autres accents français. Dans la dernière vidéo, on a fait um, the accent aigu et aussi the accent grave. So we continue with the other accents. The third accent, that is, we take the circumflex accent, known as the accent circumflex. Now, circumflex for me is just like a hat, which is worn over all vowels. That's A, E, I, O, and U, which we have it here. Now, when we take the alphabet E as an English, that's E. In French, it is pronounced as E. E is pronounced as E. When you have the circumflex, the sound changes to E. Just like the E graph. E graph, we had seen earlier also, was sounding as E. Now, we take few examples which carry the accent circumflex. I have not put the meaning deliberately because I need to unfold a little story on the existence of circumflex. We will just concentrate on pronouncing it. So we have first word that is foray. A, foray. Second word we have fet. It's E circumflex so it is going as fet. A. Finetro. That is also as E. In few other words where there is no E circumflex, here it is an O circumflex, the sound does not change. We say it as hôpital. Then we have pat. And last word that we have is metro. So now to unveil the meaning of each word, let me tell you a little story on the circumflex. It is long time back, somewhere in the 11th century, when France invaded England and French was spoken over there, somewhere English and French melted with each other. And certain words of English or French melted and we had words as foray. Now foray that is after the circumflex, if you add S, it will give you the meaning in English. So, it omits, in other words, the alphabet S. So, here it is foray. So, it gets as forest. Now, the second word. Try adding an S after it, after the E circumflex, fet. So, it is somewhere close, not exactly. So, it reads as fest. Fest, that is feast, festival. Finetra. Finetra is not following the pattern. That is probably most of the words or some of the words could fall into that pattern. Finetra does not fall into it. So Finetra is known as window. Hospital. We try putting an S after the O circumflex. It reads as hospital and the meaning is hospital. But somewhat close that is you add an s it is paste it is known as pasta metro is not following the pattern it means as master then apart from changing the sound of the vowel e even circumflex is used to distinguish between words with similar meanings which we have seen earlier with the graph as well Suppose if I take sur, S-U-R, sur, in French it means as on. If I add the circumflex on the U, the meaning changes to sure. So it is distinguishing between the words a circumflex is put. To change the sound of the vowel E to air is circumflex is used. So if it's, it's part of the spelling, you cannot omit it. That is the third accent for you, that is the circumference. We 
We go on to the next, the fourth accent, la accent cédile, that is the cedilla accent. Now the cedilla accent is written below a C, as an inverted C. Now this C cedilla before A, O or U, it gives the sound as S. For example, garçon, garçon, that is boy. And not pronounce it as garçon. Les son. Excusing what? It's le son. Le son, that is lesson. It's before an O, so it's pronounced as S. Now, so there will be certain words before A, O or U without the cedula. So that would be pronounced as K. Then the C will be pronounced as K. Say a call. A call that is school. Then we have here one more word that is without the cedula and before the O. So it will be K. That's alcohol. That is alcohol. One more. That is a Q. A Q say that is foam. Foam or fruit. But in case of an E and an I, it omits the cedula and the sound is still so. Now if we take France, right? France, this is pronounced as France. So it is still so because before an E and I, you cannot have the cedula and it can be pronounced as so. Similarly, if I take French, Francais, there is a C cedula because I it's followed by A. So in short, we remember it as the pronunciation would be so before E and I without the cedula. I see it, it is so because I have an uh, I see it that is A C I, it's followed by an so to sum up cedula, it's an inverted C below the C. It gives the sound sir, that is before an A, O or U. The words which do not have the cedula and it's before A, O or U, the sound would be K. Before E and I, I cannot have a cedula and the sound is sir. The last accent, that is the tremor, that is la accent trema. It is as two dots. That is the tremor accent for you. It is not used as frequently and uh, usually it's not used. Few words would be having the tremor accent. It is used over E, I and U. U is very rare. It's mostly on E or I. Now when the tremor is put on the vowel, it does not change the sound of the vowel but it is basically two different to pronounce two vowels if the vowels are coming side by side to pronounce both the vowels with a distinction as separately the example here that I have say Noel Noel that is Christmas we have O and E two vowels side by side so it gives it, it creates a division it creates a bifurcation between O and E say Noel now, if I have, say, maize, A and I, maize, that is maize, corn, it's A and I pronounced separately, maize. But if I have M-A-I-S, that is as may, the meaning changes here as but, and this is as corn. See the pronunciation. Here it is maize, A and I separate. This is as me, but, for example, j'aime le café, mais je n'aime pas le thé, that is, I like coffee, but I do not like tea. Some more words with the trema, it's naive. So this comes to the conclusion, that is the finishing of all the accents. Let me sum up all the accents for you. We have done E acute. We have done the E graph. We have done the circumflex. We have done the cedula. And we have done the 
schema. So five accents. Now we are clear as to how it is used, where it is used. And now when you go to do the computer, you need to familiarize yourself. You go into your insert as symbols, Latin as sup supplement, supplement one, and you will get all those accents and you'll be able to type in whichever word with the accent. So this is my entire lesson on accents. And I hope you loved the lesson and uh, I think you should be able to manage with whatever I have gone through and thank you very very much. It gives me great pleasure in recording all these videos which could go across and help students and I'm, at the end of the day I should not forget. Please like, comment, share and subscribe below. Thank you very very much. Merci beaucoup. Bisous.